20122 Air Force Junior ROTC. Now we have the Pledge of Allegiance to be led by EPISD Spirit Ambassador and WHS Football Captain Ricardo Morales. Good morning, Mavericks. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which we stand, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for our salute to the Texas flag by EPISD Spirit Ambassador and Silver Lion Dance Team Captain Tanya Garcia. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for our national anthem to be played by the Thundering Maverick Band. What a great day and what great weather for ribbon cutting ceremonies at CCUA, right? Yeah. Now when I say good morning, I want to hear from the Maverick Nation loud and proud. Good morning! Good morning! Thank you so much. Today is a very special occasion that merits and deserves recognition. Former United States Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, Mr. Julian Castro, once said that a building should not just be about drawings of blueprints or construction, but about designing a blueprint that helps mankind forge a more sustainable future. And ladies and gentlemen, the future is here with that um, building right behind me, the field house, and it will serve many athletes for years to come. It seems like only yesterday we gathered here to do the groundbreaking ceremonies and it was hot. It was in uh, August and it was really, really hot. So today's weather is just perfect. 
But way back then, we all knew that this building that we were about to construct was badly needed. This field house is a much needed addition to the growing needs of our athletic department. Here at EPISD, we want to ensure the parents that our facilities are geared to the needs of our athletes. Over the years, I've seen our athletic department strive to become better. With the efforts that our coaches and athletes are making on and off the field, it was only fitting that this building would be in our immediate future and that the need was very eminent. Win the Day Fieldhouse is here today because of the vision that seven individuals supported from the beginning. And of course, I'm talking about our very own first string school board members. Let's give them a big hand. They had the foresight, you know, to think about this and to support us in making EPISD better. I would also be remiss if I did not recognize Mr. Ramon Ramirez, former school board member, who for the longest time was an advocate of the Fieldhouse concept. I remember back then, at least once a month, he would come to my office. At least once a month, he would come to my office and sit down in, in my chair there and say, Gilbert, Mr. Gonzalez, uh, we need field houses. It doesn't cost much, just four walls and some weights, and that's what you know the field house will look like. <laughs> and I would say, yes, yes, Mr. Ramirez, you know, give us some time. <laughs> well, in a few minutes, you'll, you'll be able to tour the win the house, uh, win the day field house, and you will see that there's more in there than just four walls and weights. In closing, I would like to address all the athletes in attendance. We are here for you today. We've always been here for you, and we continue to support you. Please remember that. Remember that every time you step onto the field, and of course into your new field house, we are supporting you. Good luck in all of your future endeavors, and may this amazing field house help you to tap into more success than you have already found. But before I conclude, I would also be remiss if I did not ask you to keep the residents of Florida in your thoughts and prayers as they deal with the devastation and destruction of the Hurricane Michael. Please do that. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez, for those moving words. I would like to now, at this time, recognize our distinguished guests, our EPISD Board of Trustees, Ms. Lupita Fuentes, Board President, Mrs. Hilda Martinez Caballero, Board Vice President, Dr. Hector Alvarez, Board Secretary, Mrs. Glenna Purcell, Board Trustee, Mr. Rudy Bowles, Board Trustee. Mr. Jorge Barrera, Board Trustee. And Mr. Christopher Hiller, Board Trustee. From our District Service Center, once again, Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Iberto Gonzalez. Mr. Ismael Mijares, Deputy Superintendent for Business and Finance. Mr. Samuel Mijares, Deputy Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. Mr. Rolando Salinas, Deputy Superintendent for District Operations. Mr. Jesus Costilla, Executive Director of Human Resources. And Mr. David Camarillo, Executive Director of Instruction. Also, from the district office, will all directors and coordinators please rise to be recognized.
Willow Campus Principals, please rise to be recognized. Willow Maverick Administration, please rise to be recognized. We also have distinguished guests from our community. We have Mr. Bermea from the Junior College. Mr. Luis Cifuentes, Councilman. Ms. Yolanda Ramon, Mayor Pro Tem. Mr. Manuel Melo III, Fire Chief. Mr. Ivan Morua, Interim City Manager. And from the consulate, we have Ismael Naveja Macias. Without further ado, for your entertainment, I present to you Wind Cheer. here. But I'm here to tell you that's no longer the case. Y'all have a great field house here now. It's something to be proud of. Use it. 
it should be around for your kids. And uh, so take care of it. Make it some. It's something to be proud of. Proud of, and keep it that way. Um, all of these things, these facilities, wouldn't be possible without a vision and commitment from our school board and from our administration. Uh, they had the vision to embark on a major project like this and the commitment to stay with it. And it wasn't easy. It took a lot of time to get these things done. And they worked together because our school board and our administration is, is for the betterment of all the kids in the district. And, and you can tell this is an example of it right here with this field house. There's a lot of examples around the district. If you go around the district and see what's, what's going on, our school board has worked together for the betterment of all of our students. And, uh, you know, I talk to a lot of people out of our school district around the state, and it's not always the case. So we're very fortunate to have a school board administration that work together for the betterment of our kids. And like I say, this is an example of it here today. Um, I speak for the coaches and I speak for the student athletes when I when I say thank you to the, to the administration and the school board for your vision and for your commitment and seeing this project through. God bless you and thank you. Thank you, Coach. And now I want to hear that famous Maverick spirit for the man that's going to lead us to the big win tonight, Coach Eric Villasenor. No pressure, right? No pressure tonight. <laughs> Good morning, Maverick Nation. We can do better. We got the community here supporting us. Let's try it again. Good morning, Maverick Nation. I want to thank all of you for being here on this special occasion. It's, uh, it's always a great day to be a Maverick but uh, today is extra special. Uh, I want to thank our school board and for all of your commitment and your loyalty and your trust and for making this vision a reality. Superintendent Gonzalez, our executive cabinet, give them a hand, please. A special thanks goes to two people uh, that we worked with very closely. Uh, the first one, executive uh, Assistant Superintendent for District Operations, Mr. Rolando Salinas. And our, our wonderful athletic director, Coach Edward Graff. Thanks, Coach, for all your support. We certainly appreciate it. I think any time you embark on a journey, especially one like the one behind me, you always have to have a vision in place. And you know there's going to be certain challenges that come along with it. but. You know, athletics provides a lot of those things to fight through those challenges. And one of them is discipline, having the discipline to stay the course, being loyal, being loyal to the vision and staying committed um, and, and always having a, you know, a, a, a blueprint to get there. I think that's extremely important in anything you do, not only in athletics, but in life. And it, it's such important, the importance of athletics in our community at CCUN High School, certainly brings that to the table every single day. And I'm, I'm, I'm speaking on behalf of everybody, all of our coaches, our volleyball team, our Silver Line Cheer, Band, Stuco, all of our spirit groups involved, they put the, the maximum effort forward each and every day to put CCUN High School on the map. So we thank you very much. Give yourselves a hand. And Ben, uh, just a little side note here. I know, I know you got something coming your way, uh, hopefully in the coming months, and it's well deserved. And I know you're going to enjoy it. So uh, you know, we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed with the band hall, and, and we certainly have these people right here behind me to thank. So Ben, you deserve it. Give yourselves a hand as well. As we walk into the to the facility, you know, enjoy it. You know, this is the vision becoming a reality. 
and we're always looking in the best interest of the kids and maximizing student success. And just to reinforce our district mantra, which was by our leader, Superintendent Gilberto Gonzalez, we can and we will. Thank you, Mavericks. Thank you, Coach V. And now, they sparkle, they shine. Ladies and gentlemen, they're your silver line. Give it up for the Silver Line Dance Team. Mr. What Mr. Gonzalez uh, mentioned earlier on Mr. Ramirez, I do remember during his last meeting, uh, we were going to give him, present to him a plaque for his years of service on the board. And let me tell you, I do remember his last words to the board were, please don't forget about the field houses. And Mr. Ramirez, we did not forget. It is a pleasure to be here on this special day, celebrating the opening and naming of Win the Day Field House. This construction project is a culmination of vision, planning, and lots of hard work by the many people involved. More importantly, it is an excellent example of the progress being made to enhance the extracurricular experience of our student athletes, both boys and girls here at C.C. Wynn High School. The importance of this facility is clear to see. One would think that it is basically for the continued health, fitness, and competitiveness in the realm of sports. But athletics can be much more than just playing a game. This facility will make it possible to use our athletic program as a vehicle to develop the total person. There is no doubt in our minds that the young people that go through the doors of Win the Day Field House will grow physically, morally, and intellectually filled with maverick pride and tradition. These character traits will forever be ingrained in their experience as student athletes at CC Win High School. More importantly, 
these individuals that cross the thresholds of this field house will continue to positively contribute to our community in many ways and be role models to our general student population. Now we all know that CC Wynn High School can be extremely proud of its rich history of sporting achievements and tradition. We certainly look forward to a brighter future with the incorporation of this new facility and modern equipment to the athletic program. All of the efforts that were invested in this facility were with the mindset of best preparing our student athletes for competition in their respective sports now and in the future. It is truly a facility that we all can be proud of. You all know that our coaches and players spend many hours of preparation, lots of sweat and tears that go into building a team. Many times, coaches and players spend more time in the athletic facilities and practice fields than they do at home, and we truly appreciate that. I think that we can all easily tell that both coaches and players are extremely eager to occupy the new Win the Day field house and continue working towards their goals and build on that rich Maverick tradition. So in the words of former NFL coach Tom Coughlin, championships are won by teams who love one another, who enjoy and respect one another, and play and support one another. Let this new field house be the home of our champions, where the respect and support of one teammate to another will be continuously realized for many years to come. And now we welcome all of you to your Win the Day Field House. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Fuentes. And now, Mavericks, we have a special treat for you. This morning, you've heard a lot about the idea coming from former school board member, Mr. Ramon Ramirez. And now, he is here to share a few words with all of you. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for being here today. It's a wonderful day. It's going to be a better day after we play tonight. We are gathered here today to put a closure on a dream, on a wish, and on a request. I requested this in May of 2009, when I first got elected to the Board of Trustees of the Eagle Pass Independent School District, voted by you people. Thank you. And like Mr. Gonzalez says, I never gave it up. But everything came our way because we saw a change. When I first met, when I first got together with Mr. Mihadis, he explained everything and I felt bad because at that time he told me, well, we don't have any money. And then he told me, our teachers are not going to get a raise for about two, three years. I feel bad. Being a teacher myself, well, I feel bad. <laughs> but then, around 2012, we saw everything turn around. We saw the old administration retire. We had a new administration come in. And that's what I took advantage of. <laughs> I said, Gilbert, come here, man. I will talk to you. And we sat down. Mr. Mihadis was there. But I didn't, do all this, I didn't do all of this by myself. It took a big, big, big man to come around and find 
everything we needed to do this. And that man carries a, a golden pencil, and that's Mr. Mijares. He came back and he said, okay, now let's start talking about it. And we got together with Mr. Gonzalez and all his cabinet. And he says, yeah, first thing we're going to do is we're going to, have, we're going to work on a five-year plan. And I, first thing I did, I, was, I went looking for Mr. Coach, Coach Grafford. I went looking for Paul Davis. Where's the architect? Is he here today? the architect, and I says, the first thing I want you to do is put his request first. And the second thing on that five-year plan is the field house. Not for CC Win, for both schools. Right then and there, I knew. I knew I could retire because we approved the board back then approved, which was Ms. Fuertes, Hilda, Dr. Alvarez, Glenna Purcell, Nacho, and of course my good friend, Betty Rodriguez. We approved the five-year plan, and I said, okay, I can retire now. I can go home, because we're gonna get it done. And soon, soon about 2014, Mr. Gonzalez called and said, hey, we already approved all this stuff. Good, let's start off. And we did, and here we are. And look at this, look at this beautiful building, look at that beautiful building over there in high school. We, we were over there yesterday. Great. And I didn't do it by myself, no. I had a lot of people by myself seven board members, and this present board member right now, I had Coach Graff, I had the principal, and his staff, I had all of you here, I had all athletes, great, and I had all these coaches right here, and they all were behind the idea. And we started looking at going up, going up, brick by brick by brick. And here it is, guys. This is yours. And I want to thank all, everybody that had anything to do with this. Criticize or don't criticize, we have it done. It's right here, man. It's right there. And you know what? I just talked to Mr. Mahatma a while ago. It didn't cost us anything, man. We had it all done there. <laughs> and in closure, I want to say thank you. And I want to leave you with a famous saying that Mr. Diaz and the cheerleaders and everybody here, every Friday night here, everybody screams and hollers. And it goes like this. Ready? Y'all see the boy, the boy, I don't matter. What is it? Congratulate the volleyball girls for last night.
They whipped on you Valdi last night, man. Congratulations, girls. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up one more time for Mr. Ramon Ramirez, a true Maverick fan. And now, before the moment we are all waiting for, I am pleasured to introduce to you the leader of Maverick Nation, Mr. Jesus Diaz Weaver. Thank you, Daniela. Good morning, everyone. Thank you to the new CC Wing High School Win the Day Field House. Today, we celebrate the grand opening of our 15,000 square feet field house facility. We are so thankful to so many of you who have been with us every step of the way so that this day will finally come. Today marks the culmination of an idea that began several years ago. An idea about a state-of-the-art facility that will house our student athletes and coaching staff. I know that our athletes, parents, and coaching staff would really appreciate it. Thank you for the vision of our school board the leadership of our Superintendent Gonzalez and Central Office Administration, a group of individuals that are always thinking on the improvement of our school district and putting the students first. We cannot ask for a better group of leaders. To our distinguished guests, thank you for taking time from your busy schedule to be part of this special moment for all of us. Thank you, Ms. Byrne and Ms. Harper, and everyone else that helped us put this event together. To my colleagues, administrator, your attendance is appreciated. My dear Mavericks, this facility is for you. My dear parents, this facility is for you. Coaching staff, this facility is for you. Mary Nation, this facility is for you. Las cosas buenas se hacen esperar. Use this building wisely and let's take care of it. Go Mavericks! Thank you, Mr. Elias. And now we have Coach V once again, our EPISD Spirit Ambassadors, our Student Council President, and one of our drum majors. Please come to the podium. You know how we do it here. You know what time it is. Get your fours up, baby! Get your fours up. Here we go. We're gonna do a little. We're gonna do a test run, though. We got. We got some new guests. We got some city officials, dignitaries. So we're gonna go with a little sample. Okay. We're gonna go. This is a practice nail in the coffin right here. All right. So we're gonna put our fours up, and then I'm gonna say nail in the coffin. And what do we? So we're gonna do, this is a practice run right here, and then we'll finish it off with four in a row. So this one's practice, all right? As we progress, we gotta get better, we gotta get louder. Here we go. Four's up, nail in the coffin! All right, not bad, we can do better, right? We can do better? All right, four in a row, here we go. Four in a row, ready? Nail in the coffin! Nail in the coffin! Mr. Ramon Ramirez and Coach Villasenor, please join us at the ribbon behind me. 